What's up guys, Connor Ferguson from Always Race Day here. Uh, we're doing a one lap, one beer thing, but I, I don't want to call it that. I don't want to completely rip off uh, Derek Kessinger's deal. We respect him a ton. We love what he does. That's why we're doing this. Um, so if you have name suggestions for this thing, let me know. But got done taking uh, the victory lane photo of Aaron Reitzel, and I got three messages and a tweet from uh, Blake Dowell tweeted us. Um, I won't say who messaged me. Uh, but asking to get Davey Heskin and, and do one of these uh, with you. How, how freaking amped are you right now? Beyond words. Beyond words, just be locked in is just unreal. You know, not having to worry about it tomorrow, and it's kind of cool being able to go to the driver's meeting tomorrow afternoon. Is that kind of something? Because that's a, a tradition you haven't experienced as a driver yet, right? It's been a long time. I, I can't remember if last time we made it if they had one or not. I, I really think can't. They, it was probably out in a tent outside yeah, yeah, when it was a lot 100 now. degrees yeah. and now it's a massive deal i try to tell people how much this event grew when kendra jacobs kind of mm -hmm. came in and has continued to grow after she's left which is really insane to think about how well that partnership worked but you guys you came together with uh, matt morrow at the start of last year tumultuous kind of bad luck um bad circumstances season with uh your grandmother um uh, and it, no, it's jace jace my, she, my my teammate yeah, oh, Jace's yeah, grandma. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it was Jace. Oh, Jace. Yeah. My buddy, okay. good buddy okay, from gotcha. the car passed away in a motorcycle accident. Gotcha. Okay. I Someone told me grandmother, so no, that's, that's no, on me. No, but, no, we're good. I like that. Uh, you, your whole team took time, took a lot of time to adjust to you guys uh, working together and, and what kind of vibes you had. I, one of your crew guys said, uh, we had to figure out that I could say fuck you to him and he could say <laughs> fuck you to me and we, we'd go on. It just takes a little bit to feel out, you know with any relationship like that it's just uh it's always about learning and like this year with matt we've just been kind of been clicking on how we talk about the car and he learned my lingo and it's just been uh it's been a pretty successful season so far how much fun has it been working with matt and that that kind of character that he has in the, in the amped up emotional um dude that he is he's he's pretty reserved but when we do good man there's oh, a yeah. smile on that man yeah yeah it's a pretty good time we did it we did uh and i don't know if you know this but we did a interview middle of the season um and, and we were talking about buddy copoy and i was oh, yeah. talking to him about hypotheticals as, as what goes into your head as a car owner and it came off um in one of the interviews as in um we were i forget if it was uh he, he wouldn't he wouldn't accept Buddy Kofoid in his car, um, <laughs> and a, it was without. It was without. Yeah, <laughs> it was without the clarification that uh, he has you in the car, and he thinks you're the perfect driver for it. He wouldn't take you out of the car for anybody. It, you know, it's just it's neat to have that respect. And uh, Grand Buddy's ten times the driver I am, but it, uh, it it's unreal to have that admiration, and that, uh, he thinks way too highly of me. And I just get in it and kind of have a little fun. I roll the bottom, all right. But uh, it's just, it's been nice. You know, we, it's, you go from driving everywhere to doing everything. And then Matt pretty much takes care of everything. And I, I feel almost bad that I'm not working on the car because I like to do it. And on Wednesday night, um, you just couldn't get, couldn't get something down. And yeah. So after qualifying, we we're just, we we're just terrible. I mean, you, you feel pretty defeated. And then I have to, uh, to go for the heat race. We just had bad vibration. And I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to hurt the motor. I didn't want Charlie Garrett mad at me. Um, but we we have a great engine builder in Charlie Garrett, and uh, I pulled in because I didn't want to blow it up. And then this was a fresh Charlie that we had ready um, for tonight, which uh, worked out really good. I talked to him about three times tonight, but uh, yeah, I can't thank Garrett Engines enough. We're pretty lucky to have him on our side. How uh, how confident do you feel in that engine package for Saturday night? Because oh, I know that's a uh, massive part of this race. It, you know. Charlie's stuff always runs so smooth. You know, I love talking to his wife on Saturdays when I get a chance when he's out walking the dog or whatnot. But uh, uh, it, with Charlie on your side, you, I mean, you know, you have a legitimate shot to, to run up through there a little bit. And looking at what Tasker did here last year. <laughs> Unreal. Right? And uh, you guys are like a pee in a pod. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tasker's. I, I watched him last night and he was driving the wheels off that thing again. I'm like, he's going to lock in again. He, yeah. He's obviously turned that into and it, it, one it was a great story but two taskers like always a fantastic quote much like you does, <laughs> is is there something there that you're excited about to go into uh the off season here in a few weeks um knowing that there's gonna be a lot more people here that know your name and, and maybe bring a couple more sponsors on the car you know i unfortunately I, i'm lucky where matt handles a lot of that 
and I just saw more relish in the moments of so you saw my kids running around um, Hallie was following us for a long time with a chunk of mud you know that's what's really more important to me these days than anything else and being able to say you locked yourself in and it's just unreal you know I, I, I'm I'm spoiled in that manner that Matt handles a lot of that and uh, I'm blessed to be able to um, do what I do right now you guys didn't see this, but uh, we did one video of this. I forgot to, I deleted the other videos off my phone and forgot to empty the trash can, which is all Android lingo for you got to fucking delete it twice. <laughs> yeah. And I asked Davey if he'd just do it again with us, and he goes, absolutely. So fantastic yeah. dude here, fan favorite. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Thanks for having me on, you guys. Of course. Saturday, I'm getting up at 730. I'll see you guys there. It's always race day.